How's it going guys? Back to another uh, garage sale finds video. Uh, this week is actually from a, a church rummage sale. So I had uh, noticed they'd posted an ad on Facebook a couple days ago and they listed some pictures. And in the background of one of the photos, I saw this tote with these uh, blow molds in there. And you could actually tell the price uh, was written large enough on the tote that you could you know, see what the price tag was. And they're asking uh, $30 for this. So I just knew, uh, I tell there's quite a few uh, blow molds that were in the tote. So I got there uh, first thing this morning, probably around 45 minutes early. And they did actually open up early. I was able to get this. There was maybe five or six people behind me in line. That was number one. So I ended up buying these. I didn't realize how good these were until later when I got home. Uh, my wife does want to keep these, so these are not going to be for sale. These are from the late 80s from, uh, I think, General Foam Plastics. And these are a little bit more desirable because they're smaller than the normal blow molds. You know, they're sitting on this countertop and uh, they're probably half the size of the normal blow molds. I'll show a completed comp on there. It's a crazy one like this. And I would say that one's probably better cosmetic condition. You know, these do have some uh, paint loss on those, uh, but still fairly decent. Uh, eBay completed shows that comp of uh, $600 on this set. So very good find there, uh, but not for sale. Like I said, my wife's gonna keep it. Uh, the blow molds and this, uh, all the stuff was in a parking lot. So kind of everything was kind of spread, uh, sp spread all over the place. From a distance, I saw this and then didn't really pay too much attention to it. Uh, it was probably like five, ten minutes later, I actually walked up to this, and luckily nobody actually had bought it. But when I first saw it from a distance, I thought it was like a baby, uh, little baby holder, uh, toddler holder that might, you know, you'd see babies have, you know, there'd be a seat in the middle, and there'd be like a tray to put their food or toys or whatever. Uh, but actually, when I walked up to it, um, I realized it was a G.I. Joe, uh, the Terror dome it actually is missing a lot of the pieces uh, but still has a few accessories in there uh, like this turret but a lot of it is missing a lot of the weapons the the doors on the bottom but still very desirable piece as it is i think uh just as the shell itself sells for around 75 to 100 range and then these accessories, if I want to take them apart and sell them separately, I think this turret is like $40. Uh, the price on that was $2. So amazing find on the G.I. Joe Terror Dome. And that's from uh, 1986. No other G.I. Joe stuff there. I was kind of surprised. I looked all over for, to see if there's any more G.I. Joe. And that was it. Ended up going inside uh, with the jewelry and ended up buying all the men's watches they had. I separated the men's. There, I bought one woman's watch, but all the watches were $1 each. Nothing too crazy in here, uh, but still for a dollar piece, you really can't beat it. So this uh, digital analog, uh, kind of a no-name brand, uh, Tide, I think it's a racing watch. I think it's like Ricky Rudd. So I bought that for a dollar. Looks like these sell for, you know, $20, $30 for that watch. If I find some eBay completed, I'll show those what some of these watches should sell for. Uh, Seiko's a very good brand. So I have this probably 80s uh, dress watch, uh, Seiko. Clean that up. Have this uh, Timex Mercury. So I'll mess with that. It's not running currently. Uh, I've, had, I've had luck in the past with just oiling these and getting getting them to run. So have that. It's probably from the early 70s. Probably my favorite watch of the group. This uh, Seiko Perpetual Calendar. It's nice and heavy, uh, all stainless steel on that. And that's probably from, I'm guessing, the uh, early 2000s.
this uh, from a late 80s uh, Citizen Quartz, this digital analog has the original uh, bracelet on it. And hopefully that one will work. Uh, I've told you guys in the past, these are pretty collectible. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, something like this would sell for $100 if it actually worked. Then I saw this. Uh, first, I was hoping it would be a James Bond watch. Uh, there was a Roger Moore movie that did feature a Seiko that looks just like this. Unfortunately, this isn't the James Bond watch. The bracelet, instead of these like beads of rice type links here, it's just uh, solid gold uh, plated links that go down this. I'll show a screenshot of what the James Bond watch looks like. Yeah, but still, this is probably, I think that one sold, I saw for a couple hundred dollars. Uh, this one is probably 60 to 80 range if it works. So that was in there. The One Ladies Watch, very nice watch. This uh, Bulova Quartz, probably from the uh, early 2000s, maybe 10, uh, 2010 range for that. And uh, pretty nice cosmetic condition, like gold plated. And I was a little bit surprised on this watch. It's a Beatles uh, from 1988. It actually is a mechanical watch. So it's a wind up watch. It is uh, running. Looks like these sell for around 40 to 50 range. So nice find on that. And then probably looks like from the seventies, this uh, Mickey Mouse Disney Productions watch. Uh, this one also is not running. I'll mess with that and see if I can get that one to go. So it's pretty cool finds at the uh, church rummage sale. I think I spent a total of $41 there. And just one of the watches should bring all my money back. So very good uh, finds today at the rummage sale. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.